will no doubt be pleased to know that I will be uncharacteristically brief on this very fine day. It is likely that none of the people who are here interred are from Williamsburg, but it is most fitting that they are buried here because they were fighting for liberty, and Williamsburg is the birthplace of American liberty. It was in May of 1776 that 112 delegates gathered together in the old Capitol building and there declared that these united colonies are and of right ought to be free and independent states. As we did so, we knew that we were crossing into a, a new territory. We crossed over a threshold into establishing a most audacious experiment, a new nation, a republic, conceived in liberty and with the honest intention of justice under law for all men not only the wealthy few. We knew that as we did so, that we were establishing not only a beacon of hope for oppressed societies all around this globe, but that we were also going to serve as the envy of some others. That there would always be those wicked forces from without of our shores as well as from within who would seek to change our uniquely American way of life, which we have so dear and so precious, to impose their will upon us and to deprive us of that precious jewel of liberty. Happily, since that time, there have been a great many who have been willing to answer the call of duty to preserve that precious gift of liberty, such as those here. Today we honor not only veterans past and present, but we also honor those such as these here beneath us who actually sacrificed all for the cause of liberty. We honor them not only on Memorial Day, not only on Veterans Day, but every day. Alas, I regret sometimes to think that the people interred here did not actually see victory. They were not present in Yorktown as all of those British soldiers with dejected looks upon their faces walked in humiliation and surrendered their arms to a number of cheering American and French men. They did not hear the echoes of those cries of Washington and Liberty coming from the, the Gloucester shore. But I at the same time satisfy myself that even though they did not actually find out what would become of this attempt at a, a new nation, an independent nation, that nonetheless they see us every day. And I am confident that they are smiling. I thank you for your kind attendance. And those of you who have served in uniform, God save you. <laughs>